we can make. What's the difference between that one and this one? Okay, it's that's green. the organic one. This is. Oh, okay. Yep. Yeah, you've got medium and you've got firm. Okay. Okay, with the medium, I'm going to make a tofu scramble, which is like scrambled eggs. Oh, awesome. Do you like scrambled eggs? That's what Okay. I, well, I like the that. pasty hooked last time. The what? Yeah, we make pasta too. So tomorrow morning we might have the top of scramble. Yep. Right? The hard ones. The firm ones there. I want five. Oh, that's quite soft. Can I see? But still, you could cut it. So that's oh. what you make tofu. Okay. You make tofu scramble with it. Okay. No, not scramble. Sorry. Baked tofu. Okay. Okay, so you can make a, a sauce, marinate it, and bake it. Yeah, looks like They've now got the bio water. Yeah, I saw that. Vegan. Yeah. 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 Vegan eggs. And I gave that for David oh, Garner. Yeah. Because there's no, there's no soy in that one, there's soy in that one. Okay, yeah. Okay, so Dave's got that, and I use that. The cheese? Yes. But again, I this one before. And again, it's processed. Yep. So, Little bits. We've got some of that at home to make pizza. We've got pizza tonight. Yum. Yeah. Okay, now a lot of these are vegetarian. This is vegan. Uh, oh, yeah, yeah. The uh, beetroot one. These are vegetarian. These are vegan. Vegan. That looks like it is too. The best way to tell vegetarian. is you go to the, the allergens. Well, it's always got stuff in it, doesn't it? Yeah, but what does it say? It contains soy and gluten. Soy and gluten. May contain traces yeah. of dairy. Yeah. That's true. This is may contain. If you're not allergic, yeah. that's fine. It's okay. Okay. Right? So we would. I mean, this just may contain. We would have it as okay. vegans because we're not allergic. Are you allergic? I'm like, I'm like. But if it says contains wheat and gluten, that's fine. That's still vegan. Okay. But I don't. I don't. I'm not allergic. And you know that the allergens are in bold type. Yes. Yeah. Yes. So you can see if, if there's any milk <laughs> solids or any milk, yep. cheese, yep. Or, or fish or anything like yep. that, you can tell. They just brought these out. These are actually vegan. What is it? Uh, it's a sauce. Oh, sauce. Oh, okay, yeah. yeah. Oh, Sometimes. Same with these things. See how it's got on the front there? It's still got vegan. Oh, down the bottom, yeah. Yep. I've got one of them at home. Yeah. That's one of me. Is that a soup or a sauce? That's a sauce. So you can put on pasta. pasta. Yeah, so it's got yeah. vegan. Yep. Vegan and gluten okay. free. Yep. What? We're going to get you something in a minute. I sometimes get them and have them as my meat. Yeah. Yeah. So it's dairy free. I've never free. had them. I've got some. Them. I've got some at home. These are vegan. I didn't see those. I thought of them. So this is the one they used to have, the nudie. Oh yeah, yeah. And you've got vanilla in there, and then you've got the no, sorry. Oh, and they got a natural one too. Yep. So they've got a lot of alternatives there, and I think that's the coconut one yep. as well. Yep. That's another one. And they got mini ones too. Going for a vegan lunch. Yep. With our daughter, her daughter, who's visiting and learning all about health and nutrition. So for lunch today, we we didn't film the recipe because anybody can make a salad. So we've made a beautiful <laughs> salad, and we've got some burgers um, from the supermarket that are sweet potato and black bean, and there's no additives in there. There's no chemicals, so it's a good um, quick meal. And of course, we've got the vegan A's. Mm -hmm. And our salad dressing, of course, is um, tamari, maple syrup, and apple cider vinegar. So a lovely uh, non-oil dressing that tastes delicious. Mm -mm -mm. Beautiful. lunch so we can get the children to bed and, and we're going to, I'm going to show Carly how we just do a tofu scramble which is quite simple and these are the ingredients. 
So in here we have the leftovers from last night. We've got a bit of tomato, spring onion, some red onion, some fake beef and some mushrooms. We have our medium tofu. We have some spring onion, some more mushrooms, tomato, onion and some yellow capsicum or bell pepper. So and we're going to put in for flavouring, we're going to put the break seasoning, a bit of curry powder, nutritional yeast salt and we've got the black salt which will make it taste like eggs. I'm just wondering how do we cut the tofu? Okay. Do we just leave it the way it is or do something? We cut it in little squares, it's very easy to cut, it's very nice to cut. So you'll see it's very watery, I'm just going to take that and drain it. So what I normally do is just slice through it at the top. Yeah, it's just like a pudding, right? Nice thin slices. And if you get the silken one, you can just crumble it in. Oh, okay, yeah. So you would just cut the squares. So quite small slices. Yeah. Because it's all going to be like scrambled. It's all yeah. going to be mingled in. Yep. And then we'll just... I've actually made it bigger than this. For some reason, my knife's going small. <laughs> so I can make bigger pieces. It doesn't really matter. Look at that. <laughs> okay, so let's get started. We'll get all the onions, cut of tomato and mushrooms in there. It's like to be a yellow kind of stir fry. Yeah. <laughs> if you find you want, you can put a bit um, more oil in there, or you can yeah. actually just put some water in there. Yeah. And, uh, oil in there now. So what I'm going to do with the spring onion, I'm going to put that in last. Okay. Because it goes quite soft and soggy, doesn't it? Yeah. It doesn't need much cooking. Yeah. So at this point, I'll also put in the leftovers from last night. So we're going to heat that beefy stuff up again, and that's got a bit of a heat to it, so it's going to be a bit beefy. So another thing you can do, you can add water. You can add a stock powder in there. This is chicken flavour, but it's still vegan. Oh, cool. Okay, so it's a vegan powder. So as you can see, it's drying up. So I just put some water in to see it'll heat everything up. So that way you're not putting too much oil in there. Yeah. And okay, at this okay. stage, I will uh, add my curry powder. A little bit of salt. Because we're going to add the other black salt in there. Okay. You smell the curry now, mm -hmm. eh? Mmm, nice. Do you put it with rice or anything like that? Yes. Yeah. If I if I was serving this with rice, I'd make a bit more of a gravy with it. Oh yeah. Yep. Yeah. Okay. So let's get the tofu in. So we basically just squish it around. So will it keep the firmness? Or will it kind of get a little stuck? bit, but we want it to be like scrambled eggs is not firm. It's, it's not fluffy. in little squares. Yeah. yeah, yeah. So, so it's right to kind of give it a squish. Yeah, yeah. I normally use tamari, but we're just out of that today. And uh, nutritional yeast. That will soak up a lot of the liquid too. So. How much of that are you putting in roughly? Um, I'm just to sprinkle. <laughs> Not a measure. Just, just sprinkle it, yeah. And then as, as you get used to eating this stuff, if you like it, you'll, you'll get a taste for what you want in there. We're going to add the black salt, which is um, very sulfur tasting. And if you taste it, it's like, mm. but you need a little bit more in here. So I'm putting in about this much. And then I'll give it a taste test. If I'm not happy, I'll put a little bit more. Mm. Smell it. 
Smell yeah. the egginess now. No, I can smell curry. <laughs> it looks like egg, egg though, like. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Especially if you mushed it down more. Yeah. Yeah. But I, I got medium tofu instead of silken. Okay. And some of them, it, you can even get a hard one and it will crumble up. Oh, okay. You know, like a hard cheese. So it will yeah, crumble like a better like cheese that you can yeah. kind of crumble. Yeah, and you can do that. So what's the difference between them in any other way other than their texture? Uh, the hard ones are normally used for um, baking and stuff like that and okay. making um, like baked meats, if you if you like, yeah. and stuff like that. Um, the silicon ones and that, you can make the eggs and you can also put it in... Um, in smoothies and stuff like oh, okay, that, yeah. and you can make sauces with it. And sometimes, you know, if you're doing a recipe, you might need it in a baking recipe. Yeah. And it will tell you if you want silk or if you want hard. Okay. I normally have a mixture of both in the house. Mm -hmm. I'm throwing the shallots or spring onions. Spring onions are actually an onion, aren't they? I don't know what the difference is, but I love them. You like them? Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah, I think that should be good for first timers. Yeah, and we don't want too much curry anyway with little kids. Okay, and we don't want to overcook it, so let's just turn her off. So is tofu is cooked, like you don't, you kind of just mixing it and blending it and like it's yeah a, it's fermented and it is it is cooked okay to make tofu to make soy you have to cook it okay right so yes it's cooked okay. so it doesn't matter how much you cook it yeah it, it's not going to give you any like you've got to cook it for 10 minutes to get yeah like you don't have to cook it like meat no yeah. okay wow, so there awesome. we have a tofu scramble Guys, we're all going to have a muck in and just eat away. We're not going to be formal. We're just going to try this nice tofu scramble. We're all going to share. <laughs> Ready, set, go. <laughs> well, that was good. I did like it. It was delicious. I'm still hungry though. You're <laughs> still feeling a bit peckish. <laughs> all right, right do you want to How am I actually going to do? Oh, there you I'm trying to bear me out of my gilly. My toast. Oh, <laughs> I'm getting Emily's. It's not like I'm getting mine first. Here you go. Oh, well, you're going to miss out if you take too long. Right. I'd be tucking you okay. for myself. It tastes like scrambled eggs. Does it? Definitely try it already. Is it good? Do you like it? Awesome. I do. Do you like it? No, we've got to ask them. Yeah. Oh, like mm -hmm. This is a taste tester. If the cook don't like it, she ain't going to make it. I put corn in it as well. Mmm, corn would be good. You could put anything in it. It's very yummy. It's good. Mmm, cool. And that's from a meat eater. <laughs> okay, so as we devour this meal together, it's goodbye from me mm. and it's goodbye from them. Bye. Bye.